Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the Greek letters that we use in the Higher Physics course. Most of these you'll have seen before in the National 5 course, but let's get started. So, if we have a look at this page here, you'll remember that we use things like alpha, beta, and gamma to represent the three main types of radiation. These are the symbols on the right-hand side that can be used for the three main types of radiation. You'll also remember delta, this triangle here, we use to mean change in. So, for example, change in temperature when we did the properties of matter topic in National 5. Uh, remember we sometimes use theta to mean the angle of something and we've got lambda to mean wavelength over here. Uh, we've also got mu which is your prefix of times 10 to the power of minus 6. So remember um, you're still expected to know and be able to use that in the higher course. Pi as well is one that uh, you'll ov obviously be used to. And then omega or omega, that one is your unit of resistance. So your unit of resistance, which is the ohm. Okay, so hopefully you'll remember all of those. Those were from National 5. The only other ones that I'm going to introduce here for the higher course are tau which is what we use uh, to represent a particle when we're doing the particles and waves topic. And the only other one that's not circled, and that is just because it's not that important, is sigma. Sometimes as well, when we're doing the standard model in the particles and waves topic, you might sometimes come across this symbol in things like past papers and so on. But I wouldn't be uh, worried about that so one. So that's all from me, guys. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.